Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss how we can verify the distributive law given the three sets A, B, and C. So before I can start solving, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click on the subscription button there, and then don't also forget to click the notification button after subscribing so that every video that I'm going to be posting, you'll be alerted, you'll know that I've posted a video on my channel and you'll be there to watch and enjoy. Okay, so if you have any questions or you need tuitions or extra lessons, you can contact me on any of these lines on the screen and then I'm going to attend to you. We are going to discuss how we're going to help each other. So let's quickly begin to solve. So this is the question. So I'll start first by introducing what is known as the distributive law. So what is the distributive law and how does it, uh, rather, what does it state? So the, the distributive law states that if you have A, a times and then in brackets you have b plus c what you need to do if you've been given something like this sometimes they might not even show the times here they'll just put the air outside and ask you to distribute this how do you distribute this it means that you are going to multiply this a uh, times everything that is in the brackets there so we start first by getting a times we get a times you write it here a times and then you write b in brackets and then you say plus and then you say a times c you write a times c you write it like that so this is how you distribute so now let us put this uh in in in, in terms of what sets let us try to do that so you can have a set i mean you can have the three sets written in this format a and then let's say for instance there's intersection there then you have b union c and then they ask you to distribute this so the first thing that you need to do you get a intersection you write it there a intersection and then you write your b you put them in brackets and then you write your union in between and then you get the a intersection again and then you write your c you put them in brackets so this is how you distribute now, in this case, we have been asked to verify the distributive law. So, even before I do that, let me also uh, do it the other way around. So, sometimes you might be given A, uh, union, B, and then intersection C. And then they're asking you to distribute this. In the same way we did this, we're going to also do this. So, you first write uh, your A there. And then you... Uh, get the intersection C there, you put them in brackets. You also write your B, you say union B, and then you put your intersection C there. You put them in brackets. So this is how you uh, distribute. Okay, so let us now apply the sets that we've been given. So if you check, we have been taught to verify that A union b intersection c is equal to a intersection c union b intersection c so now how do we uh how do we deal with this set so we are going to get the left hand side first so this is how we verify we first get the left hand side we find the answer we also get the right hand side we also find the answer so the left hand side is a is simply just this part it's a union b intersection c so what is a union b so a union b the reason why i'm starting with what is in the brackets here is because we follow body mass so uh sets are also part of mathematics hence they are supposed to obey this law of body mass so we have body mass so we start with the brackets and then followed by uh, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So we start with what is in the brackets. So what we have in the brackets here is A union B. So what is A union B? To find A union B, we simply have to um, we simply have to uh, combine the set A and the set B. And then when we combine them, we have to make sure that we don't write the same element two times. So how do we do that? So A union B will be equal to, so we combine A and B, 
and making sure that um, the common elements are not repeated. We only write them once. So the first number that we have there is one, and then we have two. Then do we have three there? Yes. So we write three. Then do we have four? Yes, we have four. So four is appearing two times, so we write it once, and then we also have five. So we have five there. So this is our A union B. And then C has been given to be one, three, five. So C is one, three, five. So now our A union B has been found to, th to be this. So what we need to find now is the intersection of uh, A union B and C, meaning we now look for the common elements in C and in A union B. So in this set and in this set, we look for what is common. So what is common in these two sets? You, you see that in the two sets, the common elements there are, we have one there, we have one there. So we can write one. We have three there, we have three there. So we can write three. And then we have five there, we also have five. So we can write five. So these are the common elements. So we have managed to find the left hand side. Let us see if this is going to be the same answer as what we're going to find on the right hand side. Because the question is asking us to verify. So when you've been asked to verify something, it means that they know to say this is going to work, but we just want you to show that this is how it works. So in in the other in the other sense or in other ways i'm trying to say this is the same answer that we are supposed to find even here so the right hand side is simply just this part which is a intersection c and then union uh, b intersection c so let us first find a intersection c so first find um, what is in the first set of brackets there so we have a intersection c there so how do we find a intersection c so a intersection c we simply look for the common elements between a and c so our a intersection c is therefore going to be equal to we have one there we also have one so i'll write one we have two do we have two there no we have four do we have four there no we have five do we have five there no so a intersection c is simply just one so let us also look at or rather look for um, the other set which is b intersection c so b intersection c will therefore be equal to uh, we find the common elements between b and c so we have b there and then we also have c there we find the common elements between these two sets so the common elements here are we have one there we also have one in uh, in in b and in c so we have three there do we have three there yes it's there so we write it as well then we have five there do we have five in this other set the answer is yes so we can write five as well so to find a intersection c union b intersection u it means that we have to find the union set between these two sets this set and this set we find the union set what does it mean to find the union set we are going to combine the two sets and then after combining the two sets we may i mean as we are combining the two sets we have to ensure that the common elements are just written once we are not supposed to write them uh two times or we are, we are not supposed to repeat them in other words so we look at the common elements i mean we look at um the sets and list um uh, uh i mean and combine the two sets so let's start let's start combining this set and this set and we have to make sure that the common elements are not repeated in the set so we have one there we have one so we write it once we have three there we are combining these two sets yeah, so remember we're combining these two sets. So since we're combining, meaning we have to combine this one and this one. So one, we we'll just write it once, and then we write the remaining elements there, which is three and five. So this is the union set between these two sets. And if you check, since the left-hand side and the right-hand side are the same, therefore you can conclude that... Um, Therefore, you have ver verified the what is the distributive law. So what you can just say is that 
uh, um, the left hand side is equal to you can use identities you can say it's identically equal to or just say it's equal to the right hand side then you say hence verified let us also look at the other side of the set I mean the other part of this question rather so let's quickly move on to this one okay I think these are just the same I thought oh they are different there's intersection there's union there all right so let's quickly do that so this one we are going to take the left hand side as well so the left hand side is a intersection B union C and then the right hand side is equal to a union C a union C intersection B union C so this is what we have okay so now that we have this we can first start by uh, checking the left hand side and also checking the right hand side and uh, find their solutions so when you look at the left hand side we have a intersection b so we can first start with what is in the brackets of course uh, by following body mass so we have to start with what is in the brackets there so the what we have in the brackets right now is a intersection b so a intersection b is simply just the common elements between a and b so let us first find the common elements between a and b so a intersection b this is just going to be equal to so a intersection b is simply just going to be uh, the common elements between a and b so the common elements between a and b we have one and four we have one and four yeah because we know that there's one there there's one there there's four there there's four there so one and four are the common elements that we have and then we have these common elements so if you want you can even write it there you can say oh sorry for that so we can say um, we can write this there which is um, 1 comma 4 then we say union C so what is C uh, our C is 1 3 5 so we have to combine this set and this set because we are saying this set union C so meaning we have to combine these two sets so the first set here that we have is one I mean cons contains the element one and four and this one has one three five so we have to combine the two sets so the first element there is one uh, yeah the first element there is one the other one is three and then the other one is what we have four there and then the last element that we have is five so this is our um, a union B oh a intersection B union C so this is the solution or let's just put the left hand side so this is the left hand side let us also find the value for the right hand side so for the right hand side we also have to first uh, solve what is in the brackets so in the first set of brackets we have a union C a union C means that we combine a and C so when you combine a and C we are going to have so when you combine a and C we are going to have uh, one two four and one three five put together so when we put them together we are going to have one, two, three, four, five. So we have one, two, and then we have three, and then we have four, and then, and then we also have five. So we have put these two uh, sets together. So having done that, we can also... Um, okay, so let me write it here to make things easy. So the right hand side 
is therefore equal to so a union c there is um, 1 2 3 4 5 and then we find the intersection set between the two so we also find b union c so b union c this is just going to be the combination of b and c so when you combine b and c we're going to have when you combine b and c we're going to have we know that we have one there we have three there we have um, four and then we also have five so that is our uh, b that is our b union c so we have one three four five so having found this it is now easier for us to find the intersection between these two sets so now we find the intersection between these two sets meaning we find the common elements between these two sets therefore the right hand side will therefore be equal to so the first one which is common there is one so we can write one the second one which is common we have three there then the other one which is common is four because we have four there we also have four there three there three there and then the other one is five we have five in both sets so we can write it like that now if you check this and that are they the same if the answer is yes it means that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side hence what hence um, verified so this is how you verify the sets all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and also click on the notification button there after subscribing so that all the videos that i'm that i'll be posting you'll be able to be notified and if you have any questions in mathematics or any other science like physics and chemistry you can simply just ask me using these same lines on the screen and if you wish to um if you wish to to join my tuition group there are students that i'm teaching tuitions uh, right now if you wish to join them you want to be part of them uh, make sure that you also contact me using these same lines and then tell me that you want to join the lessons and then i'll give you directions on what to follow and uh what uh you are supposed to do all right thank you very much see you in the next tutorial video my name is hamted shalom shalom